Hey everybody, back with a new episode of The Boys. Last episode was really rough for me. Somewhere along the way, the show has really kind of lost its satirical voice and it's just become a mirror for the real world, which is important and a decision. But uh, the amount that I can just go along with every joke is kind of less easy to do. Um, I mean, you're referencing Black Lives Matter, you're referencing Antifa. This is real world shit. It's not like Bot is a made up company, but the things that they're touching on are real. And uh, Homelander has become their Trump insert. So uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how they're going to keep navigating this. Um, Soldier Boy now being on the scene is really a critical point for us because to me, Huey and Butcher being a bunch of cunts and uh, are not really about the cause right now. Uh, it, it is in a, in a way that is very selfish because they like the feeling of the V and they like being strong and powerful like the things they've been fighting and uh we're already seeing consequences to this kind of mindset uh they are in bed with soldier boy now and if he doesn't play ball then what uh look jensen's doing an amazing job because i fucking hate soldier boy already and you know i didn't know how easy that was going to be just because of how much i love jensen but i don't see jensen when i'm watching the role outside of you know the reality of it all so he he's doing great and uh him killing crimson countess i think that's her name so horridly and them letting that happen that being a part of the deal is a big indicator for me also with mm being against it i like what did butcher say about how vital mm is to the team and they're they roofied him and and huey trying to protect starlight in a way that she's not asking for and uh i just am very upset with them the saving grace of the episode was that beautiful musical montage. I lived for that. Frenchie and Kamiko with MM are like my favorite characters and uh, giving them a little bit of happiness, but then ripping it away from us because of the consequences of Butcher's actions and having this pursuit of Soldier Boy lead Frenchie back into the arms of the Russian Mafia and now they've taken him. This is uh, really bad, and I, 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 I'm, ex I'm excited to see what Soldier Boy is like. He doesn't have to be the worst, or he didn't have to be the best, but can he not be the worst and at least let these sacrifices not blow up in our faces like I feel like they're going to? Uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I, I am excited to get back into it. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Together, we can imagine a better world. Platitude. On platitude. On imagine platitude. there's no heaven. It's easy if no, you pen. try. You may say. Hey, they really got everyone, didn't they? No! <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. fair. You took your tracker out? Oh god, if Noir is scared. Yeah, what the hell do I need a team for? The last one handed me to the Reds. And we got you out of that. I wonder team. why. We wrapped up Crimson Countess. Oh my god. No, no, no. Never the reason. Oh my god, she was in the power. You know, when white folks get mad, y'all motherfuckers go berserk, but I gotta turn the other cheek. 
not fair. Fuck the high road, fuck Butcher, and fuck Huey. Huey Honestly, is not himself right now. Huey is a grown ass man that's made his own choices. MM, please. Is he Soldier wrong? Soldier Boy is going to kill more people. I mean, fuck. Kamiko because is in of the them. hospital. She lost because of them. Frenchie isn't answering. Alex is dead. And Maeve persecuting Blue Hawk will only make things worse. No, this is it a time won't. For healing. I don't give a shit. I thought we got rid of the Nazis around here. Vought rejects racism and Nazism unequivocally. Okay? Now, uh, can we stand. talk about this later? I have a lot going on today. Thank you. Hey, Trey, if you really want to do something, go talk to Annie. You scared yet? Well, he wouldn't do that to me. He, would, he wouldn't run. To you? What if it was a mistake to take over Vought and then... I am just talented. They all know I'm a fraud. Now, what wow. do you care what a bunch of mud people think? Tell me the real reason. I want to hear you say it. He's just a scared little boy. I want them to love me. Gutsy! Afghanistan is ours. Wrong. It's free. And I'll stand by our Mujahideen brothers until the end. <laughs> Things have changed, man. You know what else I'll do? Literally walk around like that? Yeah. I mean, uh, dads do. Okay, well, <laughs> Bill Cosby is America's dad, and tell you one thing he would be caught dead in that pussy gear lots of unpack there so uh, much that's, that's a real man i didn't mean to hurt those people i'm not a bad guy i mean you are but that's Does that won't happen again good to hear right only if they got it coming so says you wait wait I hate this. Y'all are real seas, men. Wow. You take the blue, oh, man. I'm such an incredible fan. This is here, guys. Oh, no. There is no problem. It is safe to go out, period. God, we're done here. I thought he was avoiding me or something, you know, because he was scared I was going to pop his head. Oh. All right, we're going into it. Mm -hmm. Hey, keep this between us. It'd be really tough to take out America, sweetheart. But not impossible. Oh, damn. That was a threat. Oh, that was more of a threat than I initially thought. Oh. <gasps> Sherry. Oh, are you? You must choose, Sergei. Oh, my God. I will kill both of them. And when you finish screaming, crying, I will kill you, too. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Okay, let me go. Okay. You got him. You got him. You got him. Damn. They handled that. Have you? Not a power that. among them. Soldier boy takes the pens and he hurls it through our house in a fucking freight train. Miss me by about six inches. Oh my god. Oh my grandpa. I gotta get this motherfucker out of my head. And end this. Or it'll end me. I hope he's the one that gets to do it. Oh my god. Oh hell no. Not again, MM. I can't oh, even you imagine. Seem familiar. You're about to get familiar with these hands. <laughs> Sausage away from my goddamn face. <laughs> You're not soup. I'm with her. For the fuck party. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. no, he's very good at conilingus. Yeah, his uh, tongue is yeah. just, yeah, he just gobbles that vagina right up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. Quit. Stop. You're all gas in mm -hmm. I get it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Join in this motherfucker again. No, no, not really for that. Oh, shit. Lick it up, you yummy brown bear. I would vomit. 
Uh, give me three minutes. I'll jump in. I'll jump back out. I'll tell you exactly where to find the twins. Nobody else in your way. Three minutes. <laughs> Soldier boy. He's gonna fit right in. He's dog shit. No, he's not. Oh, of course he's there. Oh my god. What the oh, fuck? I know. What it looks like. It's exactly you what it looks like. Anything. Why would you? This octopus was sick. Why would you ask? Homelander is gonna love it. <laughs> wait, 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 please, 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 stop, stop, stop. No. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Uh, just, I, I gotta get my ass full breather. <laughs> you know. Hey, I know you like fucking soups, but I'm off the table. <laughs> that's not why I'm here. Okay. You don't want to do this right now. Hey, you never said you were sorry. What? You want to do this right now? you do that? We need to clear the house now. This is about to be a fucking bloodbath. No, it won't. Are you and sure? Hey, stop it. I have no Listen idea. To me. Hey. Oh, fuck. Oh, <gasps> you it... teleported me? What the fuck? I don't need you to save me. Right, God forbid I help you because I always have to be the weak one. I thought that you didn't care about that. I mean, on our first date, you said that it didn't bother you. I know. Get over it. Oh, Marvin. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Shit. Shit. No, him. So you get Homelander. But I can't get Soldier Boy. You're a fucking hypocrite butcher. You can't fight them head to head. What you doing? It'd be suicide. It was Noir's idea, top to bottom. He gave you to the Russians. Please, Noir. Oh, yeah. You can't go. It's a lot of collateral damage. I'm not gonna let you. Come again. I don't want to hear it right now. <laughs> See? Are you the most ridiculous character I've ever seen? We gotta talk. Jesus Christ. Get him, Adrian. There's a psycho back there. You're gonna have a heart attack. <gasps> Did they just kill Adrian? Someone please help. What happened? What happened? You! You're the only one that was nearly as strong as me. Buddy. You think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. <laughs> You're just a cheap fucking knockoff. Oh no. I'm the upgrade. He doesn't control you. We have to help these people. It's up to us. So look in his eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man. What were you two just gonna kill yourselves? Damn, we're on different sides right now. No, honey. You do, you do. It was close there for a second. Homelander helped make me America's sweetheart. He's gonna regret that. I don't know what they're gonna do to me for telling the truth, but I'm going to keep doing it, and I should have done it sooner. I'm sorry. My name is Annie January. 
and I fucking quit. <gasps> good. Yes. Well, good God. <laughs> that episode was something else. Um, Herogasm? Yikes. <laughs> How did they even do that? That was a sight to see. Wow. But uh, I think... I think Annie and M.M. and Frenchie and Kamiko are our only hope here. I think Butcher and Huey have really lost the plot. And maybe, hopefully, this episode will make them see the light about this. It almost got them killed. It got so many people killed. And uh, we really saw who Homelander is in this episode. What a scared little boy he is underneath the image, which is what Starlight, now Annie, only Annie, is uh, pointing out here. And there are ways to defeat him that are not becoming him, which is what Huey and Butcher are trying to do. I'm so proud of her for standing up to Huey and calling out his bullshit because he is not who he was. He has let this change him and it has fed into his insecurities that he used to at least keep in check. And uh, he's so consumed with wanting to be seen as a man and uh, that juxtap or that just parallel to how Soldier Boy saw the world and uh, sees the world still. And uh, I really hope he comes to his senses because for all intents and purposes, he and Annie are done. I think there was a, a, a clear line that was crossed in her eyes. And while she was out trying to save people, um, he, he is on the other side of this now, as is Butcher. And I, I want to know what they are going to do now. Are they going to deem this as a failure like it was? Or are they just going to pick themselves back up and still try this again? Try to... Give Soldier Boy what he wants while putting everyone at risk. That power, he, it's based on his emotions. And uh, if you can't control that, which I bet he can't in any given situation, then how is he any less bad than Homelander? You just, like they even said in this episode, I'm the new you or you're the old me. Just because Homelander is, or just because Soldier Boy didn't kill Becca doesn't mean he's not the same thing. So what are you gonna do, Butcher? You almost drugged down Huey with you. If that would have worked, you and Huey would have died. I need them. I want them to turn it around. But uh, if they're not going to jump on board with what everyone else in the boys, in the Spice Girls, believe to be true and is proven to be true in this episode, then they can get the fuck out, you know? This was a, uh, this was a great episode. A, a Homelander and Soldier Boy standoff. That was wild. It almost, it almost worked. And he knows it. But I think he uh, kind of already knew what he was up against once 
when Noir kind of pieced out because uh, now that Soldier Boy knocked off two more of his payback list, Noir is going to be the focus, I think. And uh, he ripped out his tracker. He knows what's up. And they just clearly laid out that he has been with Vought and for Vought for a long time. That is who he is the loyalist to. It's not, it's not Homelander. It is Vought. And Annie even had an opportunity to kind of do what they had been doing, kind of working within the system of Vought with, uh, with Victoria. But she chose not to, and that is a new threat or it's always been a threat with her. We just didn't know about it, but Annie knows about it and she made sure that she knew about it. I could see that it may be getting somewhere diplomatically if Annie may have brought up the V because if that's, if there is any end game here and not this just personal vendettas against particular su superheroes, it's going after the production of V. And if Victoria is that scared of what it could be, enough so that she gave it to her daughter, shouldn't you be in the, a constant state of trying to deescalate from having this available to any and everyone? I don't know. That seems like where the focus should be. But now that Annie has unmasked Homelander for who he really is, we'll see where the public goes. Like she said, she's America's sweetheart, but Homelander has been gaining in popularity. And we'll see what the media does with it, at least. Uh, is A-Train dead? Do I fault him for going after Blue Hawk? No, not really. But he also was in the same position as Huey and Butcher. This, this is a personal vendetta, a justified one. But the way you chose to kill him killed yourself, potentially. Um... I'm, ve I'm really interested in A-Train's story. Um, I hope he's not dead, but it's not looking great. But definitely no love lost about Blue Hawk. Bye. I don't know. The show is doing what I wanted it to do. I did not want them to glorify what Butcher and Huey are doing as a necessary evil. I think it's proving to be the wrong move. And uh, I hope, I hope Annie's leadership will prove to be the right way to handle it. But we'll see. The show likes to give it with one hand and take away with the other. So I, I don't know how optimistic I should be. But I do feel better after this episode than the last. Which is something. And I'll take whatever win we can salvage out of this mess. And I think going after the, the, the public viewpoint is the right way to go. Whether it works out for us or not, I don't know because there are many hands spinning those wheels. So we'll see. But I'm so proud of MM. You know, he, his pursuit of Soldier Boy is not that different than, than Butcher's. I mean, it's Butcher's is fresher because Becca died recently and but you, you see how troubled M.M. is about what happened. It, it, it's still affecting him all this time. His 
behaviors have been uh, affected by what Soldier Boy did for this long. And he listened to Annie and went to help people. So proud of him. I love him. M. Oh, I love him. And damn, they got him with love sausage and some fuck. I'm, I'm assuming that was a gushing of cum, which is disgusting. But uh, <laughs> the team, I knew he wanted to fuck that octopus. You know, I mean, he can talk to him. There is consent, I guess. Whatever, you fucking weirdo. Just go somewhere. <laughs> Jeez. I'm in the bag with the water. <laughs> the way they keep talking about Maeve, though, really is concerning. She, I think he really fucked her up. I hope she's okay. And Kamiko really got fucked up here. And I loved how much Frenchie and she were comforting each other. Because they both see themselves as monsters in some way. And they both see the best in each other. They see maybe why they feel that way. But also why they shouldn't feel that way. They are so great together. And I know Frenchie has a long and storied backstory. And I know... Kimiko does too, but they really do bring out the best in each other. And when she was like worried that she messed it up because of the kiss, I was like, no, that is not it. He loves you. I'm glad Cherie is okay, but that's still going to be a problem. Nina got away. So yeah, just some more cleanup from this soldier boy. Mission. Soldier Boy was really, you know, we learned more about him in this episode. Where he came from, where his ideals are from, and uh, he doesn't, def he definitely doesn't seem like he's ready to evolve with the times. And uh, yeah, he's just a, a living, breathing, toxic masculinity poster, you know. <laughs> but he also thinks he's a good guy, which is dangerous because he's not but it does highlight the, the differences in himself and and uh homelander but that showdown was quite something and it's definitely not the last time we'll see them go head to head i imagine so i'm excited for the rest of the season where we're going this was a huge episode things went down and uh, I just feel very reaffirmed in my beliefs of the emotional and moral center of the show in the, the boys outside of who we have known to be our leader in Butcher and his, you know, right hand man of Huey. So with M.M. and Annie and Kamiko and Frenchie, I feel like we can get things accomplished. They prove that to be true in this episode. And that is what I will hang on to. So I feel good about that. I really hope A-Train's not dead. And Maeve, I hope she's not dead. But the fact remains that Victoria is a problem. Bot is a problem. Homeland is a problem. Soldier Boy is a problem. Temp V is a problem. Regular V is a problem. Many things are not okay. But I'll take this win of an episode even though lives were lost in spectacular ways. But uh, whew, what an episode. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.